I'm here with a legend, a rock god, <laughs> a front woman of uh, award-winning Evanescence, Amy Lee. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me. Oh, no, it's good to see you. Um, now, uh, you're about to release Evanescence's third album, self-titled, uh, and we've not seen you for about five years or so. What's been going on? Plenty. Um, honestly, at first, I just need to wait for inspiration. I think a lot of people put it like, what took so long? Yeah. And at first, you know, I, I kind of needed to just be okay with not with not ever doing it again if that's what was the right thing to do for me. Um, Evanescence has been totally like the center of my life since I was a teenager. So I just gotten married at the end of uh, the last tour. So uh, I wanted to be married and like live in my home for more than a week at a time. We like nested, cooked for friends, went and watched music and other people were playing and just got inspired. I started taking um, concert harp lessons. <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, I talked about it like several times like you know what I think I want to take up a new instrument I really did um, maybe the harp it's so beautiful I've never even like touched one because the only time you ever see one is like in a hotel lobby and you feel bad touching and you want to go and go Ding! yeah yeah totally <laughs> um, so uh, yeah my husband like listened and it got me one for Christmas that year and I started I was like what a I'm Christmas really present this. by the way well I know showstopper <laughs> so uh, yeah that took the cake so I just got really into it and it was really fun I mean so I've played piano my whole life so it was cool to just be learning again you know and it's sort of in the same family so anyway I did all that and then uh, just started writing music I mean it's kind of what I do so at the end of the day like however hard I try to run away from things <laughs> this is know, who I am back in on it. <laughs> this is who I am so honestly for the past two years solid really I've been working on this music Okay, now uh, in a recent interview, apparently you said that the album is inspired by your relationship with your fans. Any sort of key tracks on the album that we should kind of look out for to really illustrate that? Well, it's sort of like this. Actually, it's more like my relationship with Evanescence itself. Like, the whole thing, like, that in my life. Um, the songs are about all kinds of things. I mean, uh, there's one song actually that was inspired by the tsunami in Japan. Um, songs about my personal life, you know, as always, and relationships, love and loss. Um, but uh, yeah, actually, the reason for the self-titled was sort of like, been going through this phase for the past year or so, just wanting badly to come back to this and missing the fans and um, remembering all the things about this that are so dear to me. You know, um, we've worked so hard for such a long time. I, I, it's weird that it's been like over a decade now that I've been doing this. It's really weird, actually. I don't feel that old, but it's so cool because now that we're coming back and getting into it, um, seeing the same faces, like we have fans that have really been around um, and that are just in, fans for life. That's such a huge thing. So cool. We're so lucky to have them. And you must be, you know, they must be just so glad to have you back. It must be like, It feels yes. like it. It feels like it. Yeah. Um, what reception did you get from the, uh, from the lead single, uh, <laughs> What You Want? I mean, I think they love it. I actually haven't heard anything negative, which is awesome. I mean, maybe they just don't want to see it to my face. No, <laughs> they seem really excited. We're excited. You know, I think the rule is <laughs> make something that you love, and we're not all so different. Somebody else is going to love it too, and we love the new album. And so I think so far, yeah, people are, are liking the first song. Now, uh, sound-wise, there's talk of it, sound, you know, inspired by MGMT, Portishead. No? Uh, well, no. Um, here's the thing. Uh, actually... Electronic music has always been yeah. in Evanescence. Um, as we were getting here, so like in the past few years, I just tried a lot of new things and I spent some good solid time writing music that was very different from Evanescence. I wanted to like kind of just spread my wings and try things and fail or not and whatever, you know. Um, and a lot of songs were written in a really kind of electro world way. Um, it was more like solo stuff, some of it. Some of it, made it through and is on the album and has just evolved over time and been worked on with the band and made into a full thing. But um, actually at the end of the day, the thing that we really honed in on um, past that phase in the writing was the band, was making it more of a band record than ever, making the, the core music really tight and strong and, I don't know, badass. That's kind of the point. We're I just like, like having it. fun with it, <laughs> just rocking. It just rocks. It's like an up band album, hence the self titled. So, um, yeah, there is that, that electronic yeah. stuff, definitely, but I don't think it's so much at the forefront anymore. I think that the electronic stuff is the cool new element, along with some of the, this, the attitude from the vocals. But it's Evanescence, it's a band record more than anything else.